hello everyone. Welcome to WordCamp Kathmandu 2023. This is the first speaking session in the hall filter. So I hope uh, it will be a fun learning and a good start for everyone. Uh, AI has taken over the world uh, with a storm and everybody is talking about it. And as a WordPress community and WordPress developers are also not uh, different from it. So the topic of my session today is WordPress AI evolution. The AI evolution that is going on around the world and how WordPress developers can adapt to that to better uh, produce their like quality of work and how they can optimize and save time in terms of like WordPress development. So this is going to be the topic for the session. A little bit about myself, I am Abhishek Rizal as introduced by our uh, beautiful host over there. Thank you for the fun fact <laughs> also. <laughs> I didn't know you get that. Where, where did you get that from? I didn't know. <laughs> okay, talking a li little bit about myself, I am a WordPress, uh, active WordPresser, primarily involved in WordPress plugin development. I have been professionally working as a plugin developer in different companies of Nepal and uh, offshore also and since 2015 and I have worked in multiple uh, WordPress plugins primarily and other kind of themes and services as well. Currently, I am working at Brainstorm Forge uh, as a senior software developer and you can reach out to me through social media handles by searching my name also. Okay, let's talk about a little bit of a history. So, AI is actually not a very new thing, right? It has been used by uh, millions of people around the world in form of different type of popular services, products like voice assistants and uh, chatbots that has been helping uh, businesses throughout the years. And uh, recently there is uh, AI code uh, assistance also available like GitHub Copilot and Amazon Code Whisperer, Tab9, they are also available there. And I think actual boom of AI in terms of WordPress and web also began after OpenAI and ChatGPT was made public. So people can actually see the power of AI through the prompt and uh, they can actually feel like what uh, they can do with the power of AI. So a lot of people have found it very, very much helpful, not just in development, but in like content marketing, SEO, all of the other things and uh, for many fields AI has been helping out and the WordPress, in the WordPress industry as a community we can also see that a lot of products nowadays are using AI. So the actual boom of AI was uh, started after the OpenAI and ChatGPT was introduced to us. Okay, let's talk about the burning question in the internet actually. Will AI take my job? Uh, this is a question by casually worried developer, I believe. Everyone is saying that AI is going to take the developer's job. But I believe that, uh, you can read the statement, I think, there. Like uh, In the history also, computers, when it was first available, it did not replace the accountants, right? But it was replaced by uh, the accountants who did not use computers were replaced by them who used it, right? So definitely, uh, I believe it is the same case with AI as well. Like if you are a developer and you are not adapting to uh, new technologies, the tools and uh, facilities that AI provides us with, then definitely you might be replaced by someone who uses it because of the efficiency, because of the time saving, all of the things is there. So let's, uh, I believe that everyone should be adapting to new technologies and as a WordPress developer as, or as a developer itself also, you should be taking uh, use of these tools so that it will be helpful for your own career. So rather than worrying about will AI take my job, let's adapt using AI in your job itself. Okay, so how do we start using AI in our day-to-day -day task? Uh, the very basic thing is AI can create content, right? We know that uh, now because uh, we have been seeing previews of uh, chat GPT, other kind of tools, open AI services, generative text and everything. And it can create good content, we know that. So as a developer, I think uh, you can make use of AI to write the website copy for your clients. For example, you are taking some kind of 
project and uh, you need to write some copy to show a demo or some sort of thing so you can definitely use that use it for that another use case would be i <laughs> normally like in day to day task also i uh, we use agile in our like uh, daily workflow and i hate to write the user stories in jira because that is not what i am like very not not very good content writer so with ai if you provide proper context and all of the things you can create great uh, jira user story comments jira pr comment and all sort of things so i believe content can be helpful for a developer and you uh, you can use the ai tools to write better and communicate better in some cases also like uh, when i am trying to communicate something in slack also like where, while day to day communication in some cases if i have to answer it through little difficult uh, thing then i take help of ai and it gives me a really elaborate and good content so that can be definitely one use case content creation the popular tools that are available right now is definitely chat gpt it also has some official and unofficial like chrome extension kind uh, thing and find.com i i am going to use find.com in uh, some of the examples that i am going to show in my demo sites other because it is a free tool and it allows you to test uh, chat gpt4 model as well so this is also a good option it also has a vs code extension that you can install and try out and uh this google bar being ai and other tools as well so these can be used for content creation <coughs> yeah uh another popular uh tools that can be used to generate images is uh is like uh, website place placeholder images if you are using like a developing site for your client and in that case what happens is that if you place the proper images and everything then it it like saves up a lot of time to go back and forth uh, rather than the just place holder images so in these kind of cases also you can use ai based uh, tools to generate images and provide a, like a decent uh, demo to your clients as well i just kept this comparison between the place holder content and real content that can be created by ai and it looks different right so this is the uh, way in this way how like you can make use of these tools and get better results in your day to day work so for image management there are popular tools uh, they are both free and pro so some of the tools are open ai dali mid journey adobe for firefly magic copy segment anything so you can take a look into these tools uh, in your day to day like development work also and use it for your development task okay so coming uh, further like you can use ai in different kind of development work itself as well right so for actual development task also it can actually help you find things faster debug faster and optimize your code so some of the examples i would like to show how you can boost your productivity using the ai in your development cycle the first one is code suggestions so let's look into this one first see uh, i hope this is visible i am using find as a tool uh, for demo for this one but definitely this can be anything uh, anything of your choice like you can be using github copilot or other kind of things or uh, chat gpt itself right so what i am doing right now is i have uh, sent a prompt write a code to generate a basic fsc theme so this is a full site editing theme the new trend in wordpress going on itself like if you are new to fsc itself and you want to learn something about it then you can make use of uh, ai like better than looking into the docs what you can do is just uh, add some prompt to write a code to generate a basic fsc theme and what the ai tool is doing is right now it is giving me clear cut instruction along with the uh, code itself also with the proper header with description authors and everything as for your prompt right so and it is also explaining the steps to you so this way how uh, you can make use of it as any new topic anything that you want to know about anything that you hear in the word camp itself like talking like people are talking about you can definitely go and ask to ai about it right and it is going to give you a proper explanation just make sure that uh, you check it properly the code you, like 
AI generated code, uh, you cannot directly copy and use it. I would suggest that you can uh, analyze it to get a better idea of it. But definitely it gets a lot of things that you don't have previously information about. So this is going to be really helpful. So for example, this is creating, this also demonstrated a block template demo also in index.html. So up to this level, for to get this information, I think you'll have to look into web a lot. Like you need to have a correct terms and find out uh, different terminology, what does what and everything. But you can have all of these source of information in one place. So this is going to be definitely helpful in your day-to-day -day task. And this is just an example of creating a FSG theme. That can be anything like a uh, React project or whatever you are like blogs or uh, the new like buzzwords of WordPress, whatever you want suggestion from, you can definitely get it from the AI tools. Okay, moving further, uh, AI tools can also help you in debugging errors, right? So, if you are a developer, you are definitely going to have a tons of errors in your code, uh, whether it is like developing some feature or anything like that. and uh, we actually spend a lot of time debugging a lot of errors, but with the AI based tools, debugging errors has been also very, very easy and uh, in terms of uh, time, it is really time saving also. So that's a very basic example I have uh, written here. So how ChatGPT or the AI based tools is handling these kind of errors. This can be anything like JavaScript error, PHP error file path error or whatever, right? <clears throat> so you can just paste the error. This is a very generic kind of thing, on code type error. This uh, we get a lot in JavaScript and React based projects. So this is a example that I'm sending. And uh, with that prompt only, this is uh, this AI based tool is giving me some suggestions on how to debug it. So steps are also there, right? So all of the possibilities and it can be helpful in reducing a lot of things, something that you might have missed. Right, so you can get there faster. So debugging is also very, very helpful with the AI based tools like uh, Fine. And this is just an example for JavaScript, but this will definitely work for any kind of error or in any uh, program like this, most of the, them actually. Okay. Other than that, custom development. So, uh, how many of you here actually use like ACF for plugins like Metabox for custom development? Any else? Okay, a few people. <laughs> yeah, of course. So uh, you have must have noticed that while creating like different kind of content boxes in Metabox, ACF, you have to go through a like generative process. Either you go with the uh, writing the JSON for for your fields, or you just create it, add it manually through the visual builder they provide and you get the fields and everything. I believe that that is really like time consuming uh, for a developer to actually work on the development stuff, right? So in using AI now, you can actually tell uh, the AI based tool to write the ACF JSON file, for example, right? Just an example, you can do it uh, anything like that. But what I am writing right now is, uh, this is the, prompt that I'm using right now, create a ACF JSON file for all of the fields required for a, um, okay, there's a typo, but team section that consists of a repeater field for multiple team member and takes employees name, designation, email, and LinkedIn URL as data. So this is the requirement. For example, this is what you got from your client as a user story, right? So you can actually use that prompt to create a JSON and what I'm writing here is I'm using pro version of ACF plugin, right? So with that information, it can actually like suggest you some thing in your code and how you can sync everything up. And it is also giving me some JSON file for the uh, fields, right? So quick modifications there and your fields are ready. This you can put into your theme.json file and sync it with and the lot of like creating field and whatever it is going to be reduced. The time you'll save is actually very good. And yeah, uh, I'm tooling, uh, using this free tool. So it is like restricting to some characters. And uh, I can also actually con make it continue writing all of the data. So uh, it is all about prompt. So if you are providing correct prompt, then you can definitely 
use this kind of thing and this is not just for ACF you can use it for Metabox or any kind of custom plugin that you might have that is popular out there and that AI is like have some knowledge about so this way also you can save a lot of time in terms of uh, development for custom products okay another use case I would like to talk about is uh, writing test cases and code optimization I believe a lot of developers out there do not prefer to write test cases like PSV unit tests and other things because of the time consuming and the deadlines there <laughs> let's admit it like writing test cases is as much as time consuming sometimes even more than writing the actual functionality right so now we have the AI based tools what we can do is simply ask it about like right now it is not perfect right but at least it gives you the proper idea and the framework of um, and a good starting point for someone who is just uh, starting to write the test cases and everything right so for example if i want to write a test cases for a function then i can simply go with the ai based tools i add a demo for this one but Okay, some of my find extension is not working in the VS code. So this was a live demo, but uh, you can check out the find extension and this similarly works with the GitHub Copilot as well. Actually, it works better in the GitHub Copilot, but that is a premium one uh, for sure. But if you select any function in here and uh, for example, um, like for uh, I am using this search find for selection right now. So you can select any code. This is similar to what we do in the uh, browser. And if I write that writer test cases for this function, then it is going to suggest me some of the basic structure and the point for starting for writing test cases for PSV unit or other kind of thing. So this is also going to help you boost up the process, right? <coughs> Okay, this is uh, actually what I tried earlier to uh, create a prompt and everything for a test cases of uh, this one and for this it is giving me basic kind of framework for PHP unit framework test case and it is like extending this function and right now it is just instructing me how we can do that but with correct prompt and everything and uh, with continuation from this prompt it, I can actually get the uh, test codes also test cases code that I can use in my product project okay another thing is code optimization okay uh, a lot of times we actually write some code for the functionality but there's always some better way that it can be optimized right in terms of memory performance and a lot of things most of the time we don't uh, care a lot about that those kind of thing but when our product like in plugins also if they scale up and we are looking into minute detail like the problems start to arise right and we need to take a look on all of the functionalities that is taking up the resources and whatever it is like uh, to debug it further so if we find the cause of it uh, we can actually use AI based tools now to get the optimized version better optimized version of the code that you have written right so this we use sometimes in our daily like uh, projects also if I feel like something I have written is not optimal enough and that can be better even if I don't know how to optimize it better I can ask it to the AI based tools right so what I can do is this in this example I am writing this small uh, JavaScript function to loop through the FAQ content in one of my plugins right so I, I have just pasted it down and I told the AI based tool to optimize it further so it is like giving me step by step options on how I can optimize it so this is a great way of learning also I believe because it is going to give me an explanation of my current code and what can be done to optimize it further right so this way you can learn it like it is saying that uh, reduce the amount of loop code and i can handle it better batch dome changes like taking up a lot of dom memory and caching the variables building browsing feature performance monitoring tools a lot of suggestions are there for just a simple snippet of code right so 
there's always some better way to do it and if you find it you can make your own decision that if it is something helpful for me and my project then i can take that up so basically uh, the optimization task can also be very very helpful with the ai based tools uh, i have shown a lot of demos recently in my three of the slides and uh, in every slide actually everything was initiated with a prompt right so while using ai based tools prompt engineering is very very crucial task and this is something that you have to like uh, get yourself better at also because if you are not putting a good enough prompt then you will not be getting better results from ai itself also because ai works in patterns only right so whatever data uh, we feed it the whatever sources whatever questions we are asking the series and everything it works based on that also so you need to be careful about the prompt engineering and what prompt engineering is it involves that you need to consider that it is just a machine the ai is a machine and you need to feed it proper patterns to get better output so that you need to keep in a mind right so for every kind of content not just for development uh, prompt engineering is really really important and we need to understand it better while using the ai based tools okay right now uh, a lot of businesses has been uh, using ai based uh, integrations in their existing product also so just an example of how wordpress businesses are shifting to the ai paradigm we can look at the example of elementor's ai they are providing the text generation feature right on their editor the image editing features are there and some of the seo plugins like rank math all in one seo are using uh, generic like content generation for better titles meta description and all of the things there are new plugins like wp wan that actually lets you generate content on the fly in the wordpress site itself right and ai image generators are there new site generators like zip wp shore writer chatbot jetpacks ai assistant is there ai power plugin is there so all of these big industries are adapting to ai so i think in a product also ai based tools like integration is a must right now because a lot of businesses are going into that direction okay so what are the development ideas that we can take away from there uh i think the day to day task we can use definitely ai for the development of our different kind of uh like ease of our development process and everything like i explained earlier but as a developer i think we can integrate ai to existing products like woocommerce lms as for your clients need or your own product if you have your own product then you can definitely add ai integration to it for users to have a better experience into it right or create a completely different ai based product uh, that is the further ideas that we can get through okay so for a quick demo of a development idea this is a small thing i have developed a tool uh, that i can show a demo of right now okay so this is a basic uh, from type of thing like uh, right now i am using langchain and like uh, my custom data source for this one but this is to just to give an idea on how we can start developing our own plugins integrated with ai itself right so what i am doing right now is i have uh, created a small prompt this is a local application right now it uses uh, langchain integration and the application has been written in javascript itself so i am writing a prompt for this one that create a call to action for a travel website i have fed some data to it i'll show that later but if i click on generate this is the recorded video because uh, let's face it like ai is quite expensive right now to <laughs> send requests and responses so what it is doing is it is giving me a wordpress uh, core blocks markup that i can copy and paste into my browser and get the sections ready right so by default uh, open ai also does not do that we just need to tweak it a little bit with prompt engineering right so this is a section that i got i can easily uh, create this anyone who contributed yesterday in patterns i think you can use this tool to create new patterns also <laughs> because it ai is going to generate content and it is going to give it a different kind of layout for that one okay uh just a quick demo on that part 
So this session is not like bit more technical to go through all of the processes I have said, but uh, see this is the CTA banner that I got with the prompt, right? But I'll go through the quick demo of what uh, prompt I use for that uh, code. So I think we don't have uh, much time left, but I'll try to wrap that up soon. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, this is a tool that I created actually, and uh, this is a prompt data that I'm using right now. So that this is what I'm talking about. Like AI is still idiot in some time. Like if until we feed it proper data, it is not going to give some kind of uh, proper output to it. So this is the prompt that I'm using right now to uh, generate the code for the WordPress page builder, like blocks. So what I've written is act as a Gutenberg code writer and expert copywriter. You'll be creating website pages with Gutenberg blocks. I'll instruct you to create one section at a time uh, for all of the blocks. And I have also given given some examples for it. Like what are the content available right here? Right, this is the WordPress core blocks content, and I have strictly given an uh, instruction that I just need the uh, code only and no explanation for this one. Right. So these kind of content we can use it. So by this example, what we can learn is that this is just an example for WordPress based uh, product. But if you have any kind of custom product that is based on blocks also, you can use your pattern like instruct it properly and feeding your data, you can actually get the output based on your data itself. Right. So these kind of development ideas can be done by integrating AI into your product and it is going to be really, really helpful to add some additional user interaction in your website uh, in your products like users with going to be really benefited by these kind of tools so this is uh, all about the development ideas see uh, possibilities with ai in wordpress are endless and it is dependent upon your imagination i believe that and a lot of companies have already started going into that direction as a developer we should also i think so finally, having said that, let's talk about, some, talk about some of the drawbacks also. There are like some drawbacks of using excessive AI as well. So there might be issue of plagiarism because it is feeding on our data and giving solution in it. And like I told earlier, if you copy everything up, you might be actually copying some parts of a code of some other products also. So you need to be very, very careful about that. Quality and coherence, we need to be... Uh, everything AI suggests might not be the optimal quality, right? So we need to make our judgment also regarding that. Lack of creativity and originality. Obviously, if you depend on AI on everything, you'll lost, uh, you'll be losing your creative ideas. So making use of it is one thing for boosting your productivity, but you cannot be dependent on it completely. And obviously, the over over dependence can also be reduced a lot. There are also some kind of uh, thing like uh, data privacy is also in concern like we are feeding some data to a, a company so there is definitely some concerns about the data privacy also but all in all if we handle it properly if we take like responsible actions with AI then definitely as a developer as a product owner as a marketer and content creator also we can definitely make most uh, use out of AI and get our productivity boosted up to a lot so that is all from my presentation actually i don't know if we have time for questions or not <clears throat>